Hi there. Today I'll explain how to install the new Dark Souls 3 Seamless Co-op mod. It's finally available. First of all, let me clarify. I'm not one of the modders. I'm just a regular community member who decided to make a visual guide for those who prefer it. And yes, I'm using an AI voice, since my English isn't the best. I don't know if the official modders have already made a tutorial, but I'll do one anyway, just in case. First, head over to the Nexus Mods page for Seamless Co-op. I'll leave all the links in the description. There, you'll find a full description of the mod. Since this is new, expect some bugs. Sadly, but hey, at least we can finally play together. There's also a Discord server for the mod, and as you can see, this mod won't get you banned. All right, let's move on to the installation. I'll be following this guide as if I were installing it for the first time, because, well, I am. Download the mod files from Nexus Mods. Keep in mind you'll need a Nexus account for this. Locate your Dark Souls 3 game files. Right-click Dark Souls 3, Manage, Browse Local Files. This will open the game's installation folder. Now with both the mod files and game files open, just extract all the mod files into the game folder. Yep, just that. Before launching, we need to set a password for our session. Open the Seamless Coop folder. Find this .ini file. Inside, you'll see various settings, like allowing invaders, enabling debuffs, or adjusting enemy scaling based on the number of players. I love that last feature. For now, though, we just need to set a password. Find the password setting and type in your password. Make sure all your friends use the same password for the co-op session. Now launch the game using the Seamless Co-op Launcher and it should work. Should. In my case it didn't work. But as I said, this is my first time installing it, so if I run into issues, you might too. I tried running the launcher as administrator, no luck, so I checked the mod's Discord server for fixes, and thankfully there was a solution. Here's what I did. I deleted the Dark Souls 3.exe file. Then, I went to Steam, Verify Game Files. Steam automatically re-downloaded the executable. Now I launch the game again, and look at the top left corner, it seems to be working. Let's test it by creating a new character. To get the seamless co-op items, which let you access the mod's features, just sit at a bonfire. Here, I'm sitting at the first bonfire. And there they are. Some pretty interesting items. Since I don't have anyone to test co-op with, I'll try invading someone instead. And it's working. Though I did notice a small issue. Same as in Elden Ring Seamless Co-op, players can sometimes drift too far from each other. But hey, look, I found them. And they're friendly. We decided to do some PvP, and yeah, she won. Then, when I returned to my world, I spawned in an advanced area. Why? No idea. As mentioned on the Nexus page, this mod is still in development, so bugs are expected. Don't worry, the developers will fix them over time. Thanks for watching.